all right so in this video i am going to briefly demonstrate uh, how the cat gpt works so i think you might have seen this uh, pitch deck which i prepared and uh, shared on uh, linkedin previously so this cat gpt is about how you can generate 3d cad models by leveraging uh, the latest ai technology that is the generative pre trained transformer it can basically take models encoded in plain text format and it can generate new designs which will improve the productivity of the design so like i said uh, so far only small data set has been tested which is the chairs data set which i will be showing shortly and Uh, the basic version of the cad gpt uh, is uh, trained on this particular data set it is having four layers and it is having four attention modules or you can say the transformer attention heads and uh, after the cad gpt is going to generate the generated text we need to reconstruct that using the fusion 360 api so we need to create a large data set to be able to train uh, an ai model so such large data set is readily not available so we need to make our own data set that data set can have models around 100 to about 2000 so it can go to maybe even a few more thousands depending on how much time is available and what are the resources we would need and then we need to train that model and then finally we need to integrate it so currently the gpt which uh, i developed so far uh, for the research purpose can only support drawing sketches of rectangles and circles and it can only extrude it so in a modern cad software there are so many operations like drawing a line filleting it mirroring it and there are so many 3d modeling options like you will extrude or you will cut or you will apply fillet or chamfer you will revolve a particular sketch around some axis and you might also use some patterns mirrors and drawing some surfaces and the cad can be so complex so to develop a completely fully functional cad gpt model it would definitely take around 2 years of time if you had a team but gradually as the main intention of uh, sharing this video and making this video is to create a new area of research which will enable young students and young engineers who are willing to explore and improve their skill set in this direction and i will be sharing more details once uh, the paper which i am trying to write is already getting published i hope it will be published soon and so that i will be able to share uh, everything in more detail and now what i want to do is to give a demo so basically what we have is a gpt version developed on top of uh, the available nano gpt nano gpt is developed by a scientist called andrej karpati so you can see that in this particular youtube video i will share this youtube video link below so as per this video uh, i have just used that particular python code with some modifications wherever needed like such as uh, context length how much you would need what are the number of attention heads you would need what is the block size this is nothing but the context length and if you want to know more about how the generative pretrain transformer works you can also watch this video that is uh, recently uploaded by this channel called 3 blue one brown it's an excellent visual representation and i will show you the kind of data set which i used for my training so it starts with a beginning token and an ending token and in between all these values indicate the design sequence so s stands for sketch 
and E stands for extrude. Similarly, X Y stands for X Y plane. R stands for rectangle. These two values represent uh, the X Y coordinates of the lower left corner of the rectangle. This represents length of rectangle. This represents height of rectangle. So that's the notation I use it for encoding the drawing a rectangle sketch. Similarly, if you want to extrude that sketch, this is the extrude distance, and the starting E stands for extrude. and the following e would stand for whether it is a uh, join operation or it is a cut operation similarly the value c stands for circle and it will be having the center coordinates in x and y and then the radius of the circle so like this i have created or encoded manually about uh, six designs of shapes so i will open up that data set for you so this research paper which i worked it's not yet published but i'm just showing you so these are the six chair models which are created using fusion 360 and then manually what i did is i just noted down all the parameters which i use it for creating each design like what is the rectangle uh, what is the length and height of the each rectangle i used and what is the radius of the circle i used and in at what plane i have created those sketches and in which direction i have extruded them i have written it down manually and i manually typed all of this data set so it's a very tedious process that is the main reason why i cannot create about uh, 1000 to 2000 models which are typically used in machine learning models so that is why uh, this would require a team who are dedicated to encoding the designs in this textual format so the details of the text design format are given in this table so yes would stand for drawing a sketch like i said so this is only the beginning version more advanced version which i recently shared on linkedin is uh, the python dictionary object model that has not yet been developed but i have just shared how we can improve this particular model so that it will be easier for the designers to encode them into plain text and then it will be easier for writing a program later on so once the data set is created in plain text format you can see this is a simple notepad file then you would come here and upload that with into the python so you will specify the particular text file and you will import it and this is the model the neural network model you can say it is a bigram language model so feed forward layer what is meant by attention block and the overall bigram language model all of these details are given in this particular video i will put the link below in the description and after it has been trained for around 3000 iterations and now if you click on generate this particular cell if you click on that it is going to give me 2048 number of characters so you can actually vary this length it is going to give me a paragraph similar to how chat gpt would give you a paragraph that paragraph will be written in design language so the previous design language which i mentioned uh, the model is going to generate in the same design language there are some small errors but those errors can be eliminated when the training data set is large and you have given enough iterations for the minimization of loss so the initial set of characters is not having the begin token so you need to ignore that and from here this begin token is starting and end token so this is one chair design so basically the main motto of this small version one of the cad gpt which i developed is it tries to learn all the design features given in the given data set and it will try to create new design so i want let's say a new type of a chair so the given data set is chairs so if i want to create a new chair so it is going to generate and give me so many chair designs 
so this is the first chair design and followed by second chair design so each chair design is enclosed with the begin and end tokens this is the third chain design like that it is going to give me a total character length of 2048 so you cannot directly tell how many chair designs it is going to give because it can vary depending on how many character length each design might take so typically it will give me around 5 to 6 unit designs now what you need to do so how you can reconstruct this particular chair into fusion 360 so that is another tedious and challenging task so i will show you what i have developed so you will simply copy this particular text and open a plain excel sheet and paste those values here if it is not getting pasted you can open a new notepad file and paste here and from here again you will copy that and paste here so now you can see everything has been pasted in each particular cell so i have given this a file name ai chair new generated demo dot xls so xls means it's not the latest version of excel so you need to save it as 1997 2003 compatibility so when you go to the save as option here you need to save the excel file as 97 2003 after that you will open fusion after that you need to open this particular code go to the top and change the file name ai chair new generated demo underscore xls and now i will save this python program so you need to give the full path so ai underscore chair underscore new hyphen design generated hyphen demo let me cross verify once again right so now you need to run the script using the fusion 360 script utility you will just open a new file and under the ut utilities you will go to the add-ins click on scripts and add-ins and the previous script i saved it as a new script you can simply create a new one i already created a new one and now i will click on run so whatever the python code which i written here okay uh, that is saved in this particular folder that folder is being read by the fusion 360 api and now you click on run so it is saying new body has been created click okay you have to zoom out now this is a kind of chair design so you might argue that this is not looking like a chair yes because like i said if you want to get more accurate results and more realistic designs you need to give a lot of training data but what i can show you is the design sequence so the advantage of cad gpt is unlike other automation or unlike other 3d designs where you would only get a 3d image or you would get a 3d mesh or you would get a 2d image or a 2d rendering of a 3d image so on but using cad gpt you will be able to generate three dimensional designs 
So the design sequence is like this. It created a rectangular sketch and then extruded it and then created another circle and then extruded it and then created another circle and extruded it created another circle again extruded it and then so if you remove the fifth body or if you just hide the fifth body you can see that this looks like a chair it is looking like an incomplete chair so it is having a seat and it is having four legs so if you want more accuracy you need to give lot of training data a lot of this type of uh, text so there are only six chair designs in that given data set if you increase that to maybe 100 chair designs you will get more accuracy so that is what uh, i have included in the paper i hope uh, it will be published and let's say you want to change something in this design okay so you can simply edit that particular sketch you will give it a dimension and it says 100 mm let's say i want to reduce that to 50 mm and now if i click on finish the sketch you can see that this is allowing me to edit the generated design and it is also allowing me to look through all the design sequences and i can edit it or delete it or i can give some fillet to this or i may extend the extrude length whatever i want i can do it but the advantage of cat gpt is that it saved me a lot of design time so once i believe that a lot of training data has been given and if you integrate that with a uh, prompt so let's say i want a chair if you type in the prompt i want a chair with five legs then it is going to give you five legs chair if you want the chair to have a circular shape it is going to generate in a circular shape like this not only chairs you can create whatever design you want it all depends on the type of training data you give to it and so far this is what i have developed i hope you got uh, some insights into what cat gpt can do and do let me know the specific questions you might have and you can reach out to my email here if you have any specific queries and please like and share this video if i have done something which is of some value to you or you are able to learn something new from this video please give it a like hopefully once uh, i will get some team and i will be able to work on this uh, idea and improve this and i hope that the version 2 of the cat gpt may be rolling out maybe in 4 to 5 months of time so till then have a nice day